Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist and a member of the Celiac Disease Clinic here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. I'm talking to you today about a, 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 something that's very important to patients with celiac disease, and that is, do they heal? We know celiac disease damages the small intestine, and those little finger-like projections which make the intestine, the normal intestine, look like a deep pile of carpet, become flattened. We call that villus atrophy. A study we published last year uh, with colleagues from New York and Sweden uh, reported on um, factors that might predict whether healing occurred or not. And this was many thousands of patients who had follow-up biopsies. And a significant portion of them had not healed. They continued to have persistent villus atrophy. That's persistent, significant damage in the intestine. It was found that people who were older were less likely to heal than people who were younger. Um, males were less likely to heal than females. So these were at least two factors that are important to recognize that if we're diagnosed with celiac disease later in life, healing is not assured and it is less common than someone who is diagnosed younger in life. Um, children probably heal the fastest and most efficiently. What does this mean for follow-up of people with celiac disease? Well, we need to be aware that healing doesn't always occur. Uh, our practice has often been to re-biopsy people who are diagnosed as adults routinely after two years of a gluten-free diet to see if healing has occurred. Um, while this is not necessarily universal practice, we know that if people heal, they're less likely to get complications of celiac disease. This is an area of ongoing study, so we will provide more updates as they happen. Thank you.